delighted to be joined with Robert Little who is the gardener here in Six Mile Water Park. Now we are planting a tree today and you're going to tell me how to plant the perfect one. So first of all we've got a hole. How far do you have to go down? How, how wide do you need to go? What's the perfect way to do it? We just dig out enough to, to get the tree down. Okay. So you don't want to go too deep, you want it up to just at the base here. You don't want to smother the tree by bringing it, making okay. it too low. So is this the root ball? This That's the root yeah. ball, yeah. And so, so it has to be above the ground then? Well, the, right? the root ball just needs to be kind of level with the ground or just okay. slightly above the, the surface. So today we have got a red devil apple tree. So that yeah. is what we're going to be planting. So what's the first thing we need to do now that we've got the, the hole dug? The next thing I'm going to do then is apply some humus material. So some kind of organic matter to the existing soil. And where would you get that? Well, I've brought some with me. I've okay. got some in a bucket here. It's just normal uh, compost. Put it around like around that. The I'm going to mix okay. it. I'm going to mix it with the existing soil. I've never seen this technique before, so well, I'm this, learning this, something this new. This is the way I do it. This yeah, is the way I do this it. This is great. And then we, we're going to add some bone meal. Okay. So if you just take the tree out again. Yeah. So Not too I much of this because it can burn the roots, you know. I have a big bucket of this in the house, so I've got this from my local garden shop. It provides an element called potassium, okay. which is what we need for, for good root development and growth of, of, of living trees. Now, before we actually plant the tree, how do you know where to put the tree? You know, do you have to well, put it in sunlight? Does it need to be in the shade? Yeah, because it's an apple tree, and, and, and so it, it will prefer a, a sunny spot and definitely a sheltered spot. But also, you don't want to be planting it in any frost pockets. Okay, so you need it to be in a sunny but also sheltered position. Yeah, yeah. yeah? okay. And, and no frost. And no frost, okay. Mm. Taking all these points uh, in. So now we've got this, you've mixed that in a wee bit because the bone meal, it can burn the roots, is that yeah, right? Yeah, if, if, if there's too much of it, 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 can, it can sort of uh, sear the roots, you know. So the next thing is you're gonna, you're gonna be my assistant again here. Okay. And put that in just about there and just hold it there. And I'm gonna mix this. I'll let you do it, you've okay. got your gloves on. Yeah, you just sprinkle it around. Yeah. Just by eye, just stand back a wee bit, have a look at it. I mean, there's a bit of wind that's got up today. We're gonna use a, a little stake next. Now we're just gonna use this little small one. And you can just use a bit of wood you have in the house. A bit of wood, anything to support, anything. Anything to support the, the, the tree. Okay, so you've got your, your lump hammer. Yeah, so, I mean, before I put the tree in the ground, I observed just where the, the roots were. Okay. And you don't want to be damaging the roots, so there, there'll always be a part of the, the root ball system that's maybe less rooty or, or, or less developed than the other. So I'm just gonna I've just made a mental note of what that was okay. and it's, it's here in this side. So And also you could take a picture maybe before. You can you take put a picture, in, yeah. So you, you definitely know. Well, and uh, you don't want to go too close to the, the bark. And you don't want it rubbing. So now that we have staked it, we're going to put on a tree tie. And why do we do this? Well, uh, if, it, if the area of the site is particularly windy, you don't want the, the root ball being dislodged by wind. So we use the, the, the tree tie just to allow the, 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 the root ball to, to stabilise and, and firm up as, as the roots grow. So it is as simple as that. This has taken us maybe a few minutes, five, yeah, ten yeah. minutes to do. Is there anything else we need to do or is that it? Well, if you want a, an apple tree to, to bear fruit, uh, there needs to be male and female apple okay. trees present. And one more important thing after you've planted your apple tree is to water it. That's right, and you've got to keep watering regularly for about a year. Now, oh. the whole aim of this whole initiative is to plant one million trees. I think we've done a good job. <laughs> well done. <laughs>